This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at GPT LLM Trainer. So you have a text description of the task based on which you need to fine tune a LAMA2 model. Okay. So you are creating a new LAMA2 model. Now you need a data set for that, right? What if you could just simply input a description of your task and the system will generate a data set from scratch parse it into the right format and fine tune a LAMA2 model for you. It makes your life much more easier, right? So this is where GPT LLM trainer from Matt Schumer comes into the picture. So the idea over here is that you can use GPT-4, OpenAI GPT-4 provided you have access to it, um, basically to generate a variety of prompts and responses based on the provided use case text description. Okay. The GPT-4 LLM trainer will also make use of GPT-4 to generate an effective system prompt for your model. So once the data set is uh, generated, it will then split the data into training and validation uh, sets and fine tune a model, basically a LAMA2 model and get it ready for inference. So there is this Google Collab notebook provided over here and it is better to make use of the best GPU available. Okay, uh, so you need to add your open API key. So the key requirements are that you should have access to GPT-4 and um, you know you have an open API key basically a paid um, a thing paid service open API paid service to make use of GPT-4 okay so the idea is this right you are given a prompt basically um, you are giving this prompt which is a text description of the model which you want to develop for example over here in this notebook, uh, this prompt is for a model that takes in a puzzle like reasoning heavy question in English and responds with a well reasoned step by step thought out response in Spanish. So this is your task. So basically, you are developing a model which takes in prompts of the form of a puzzle, okay? uh, which is a reasoning heavy question in English, but it gives the response in Spanish. Basically, it solves and the puzzle and gives the response in Spanish. Okay. So the parameters over here are this prompt, a temperature. Now this temperature varies from zero to one, zero for more precise tasks and uh, you know, uh, like writing code and for creative tasks, uh, you know, higher values. And then you have the number of examples which you want to generate in this data set. Okay, so here it is, you know, 100. And then you install OpenAI basically. Uh, over here, you set up your OpenAI key you have these methods for generating examples. If you look at the model used over here, it is GPT-4 and uh, you have these, uh, you know, prompts for the system prompts for this data generation. Okay, where it says you are generating data which will be used to train machine learning model. You will be given a high level description of the task, right? And, uh, you know, this prompt uh, talks about how your response should be generated. So basically, this is where the data set gets generated, okay? So you have this uh, method over here, which will actually, um, you know, generate your data set, right? So once this data set is generated, right, 100 samples based on the number of samples you require over here, number of examples, data is generated. Then you have system prompt, which needs to be generated for these examples, right? You need a system prompt for your model, right? Uh, which is your instruction tuning um, system prompt, okay? So if you look at over here, uh, the kind of, let's go over here and see what gets generated. Prompt response pair needs to be generated over here. Okay. So a prompt and a response. So basically example. So in this case, what will be generated over here in this data set, it will generate a puzzle like reasoning heavy question in English and its response, basically a well uh, seasoned response in Spanish. Okay. Well seasoned step by step thought out response in Spanish. That is what is getting generated over here. Okay. Now once this is generated, you also need to generate a system message. So here you are using GPT-4 to generate a system prompt for this particular uh, use case. Okay. So here the prompt will be, you will be given a high level description of the model we are training and from that you will generate a simple system prompt. Okay, for that model to use, you are not generating system message for data generation, you are generating the system message to use for inference. And the format is given over here. So once this is also generated, then uh, you are basically putting it into a data frame. 
of the form of prompt and response okay so that is what you are doing over here then you are splitting the data frame uh, for training over here right uh, you are splitting into train and test uh, basically train and validation data sets then onwards it is standard llama 2 fine tuning using lora and transformer right hugging face transformers and lora so that is what is done over here you can define the various hyperparameters for lora over here and it uses 4 bit quantization over here you can play around with these parameters in terms of uh, you know the learning rate and other things over here and then the train uh, uh, data sets are loaded a train and validation and you do the basically fine tuning of your llama 2 model okay so the thing over here is that there is this llama 2 specified models which is specified over here um, this is if you have access to official llama 2 model you can use this meta llama llama 2 7 billion chat basically the fine tuned 7 billion model you can use that or you can use this one okay this is also the same model llama 2 7 billion fine tuned instruction fine tuned model okay so uh, once you do this you basically uh, you know train the model this takes some amount of time depending upon the gpu resources available and the data set size then you can run inference on this particular model you can merge the model and store it in google drive you can retrieve the model in the code again and you can actually do your inference so this makes uh, you know fine tuning a llama 2 model very easy because uh, you know it uses gpt4 to generate a data set for you for a particular task okay the only caveat here is that uh, if uh, the quality of data set which is going to be generated depends upon your description of the model what is description of your use case how well you describe it and the quality of gpt4 in terms of generating your uh, data set samples okay so this was a short video on gpt llm trainer you can try it out for your use case the two things which you need to keep in mind is that one you have to access you have access to open ai gpt4 and the second thing is that you need to have access to a good gpu instance right so i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video